Thanks for tuning in for this Essential RC flight test. They're not really a flight test today because we're looking at the Hobby King version of the Fat Shark Dominator HD2 goggles. Now, what's different about these? Well, only uh, the Hobby King version because they're hydro dipped in this urban camo type scheme, which does make them look a lot, lot better than the standard white or gray version of the HD2s that are out there. But just quickly running through the what you get with these, you get the, you get the battery which has an indicator of the charge that you've got remaining, which is a nice feature. You get the, the charging lead so you can charge on this. It doesn't, it doesn't balance the, uh, the two cells that are in here, but I don't think it really needs to do that. This plugs into the side here so that you can power the fan that's on top, which is going to be great on hot, humid days so that they don't mist up or fog inside. These have an amazing 50 degree field of view as opposed to the 30 degree field of view that you get on the previous version of the Fat Shark goggles. So it's going to seem a lot more immersive. You're going to see a lot more width in what's going on when you're move, when you're uh, when you're flying your drone or quad. And they record at 800. Uh, they they show uh, at 800 by 600 resolution. Don't know why they call them HD but uh, it captures HD 800 by 600, which is what we call Super VGA, what we used to call Super VGA back in the day. Um, you can search your channels on the side here, why a huge number of channels are supported. You can adjust volume if you're uh, watching a video with them. You can adjust the brightness and the contrast. HDT here is for turning head tracking on or off. That's already incorporated. If you've got a camera that's on something that has pivot and, and tilt and can control that and uh, move according to your head, then it then uh, that's already in place here. Looking underneath, then you have these adjusters for IPD, as they call it, interpupillary distance, where our eyes. Uh, can vary in the distance be between them. Mine are, I've got quite a gap between my eyes. Other people have eyes are a lot closer together. So you can use those to adjust that. You've got connections here for HDMI and other, and other uh, connections as well for video. And you can turn the receiver on and off. And I know that you need to do that if you want to play back and watch video, which you can do. You know, if you've got the SD card in here and you're capturing video, then you can replay that and actually watch that video through the through the goggles, which is great because I'm going to be going to a lot of events where other FPV uh, pilots and competition is going on, so I can actually tune in to a channel and watch one of those pilots flying and record his flight onto my SD card and replay that later on if I want to. Great little feature. Um, what else? It obviously, comes with a, a foam. Uh, really nice foam um, head face plate here and some of the earlier versions didn't they were more like uh, swimming goggles when they can uh, onto your eyes so this is really really comfortable and there's a spare one that comes in the box as well and so I should point out the one thing that you do not get with these goggles which you would have got on earlier sets of Fat Shark goggles is a, a receiver which is obviously something you must have if you want to fly FPV. You need the receiver so that the goggles are picking up the signal from the transmitter on your drone. So I bought a, uh, it's called a diversity receiver, it's not true diversity, but it's got two, two aerials. It comes with two standard aerials. If I take those off, then you can see those two outputs and it fits quite easily into the bay inside the goggles and there it is now this hydro dipped cover does not have two drills uh, two holes drilled into it. it only has one so you have to drill this lower hole but that's easily done because you, this this cover this white cover does come with two holes in it and you just use that as a template to drill the second hole in in this cover it's very easily done So that's pretty much it. We're looking forward to using these. I got these specifically so I could, um, over other types of goggles, so that I could uh, capture video, record video when I'm flying the new micro tiny whoop uh, type of drones. There's a new, uh, new version of the Inductrix FPV drone coming out. 
and it'll be really interesting to fly around the home or the office or indoors anywhere and be able to capture the, the video onto that, which you can't do with other, other goggles, so even though these um, these Quantum Cyclops goggles are very good. They don't have, there's no way of capturing video with these, and they don't, the, the, uh, the field of view isn't as great with these anyway. So these will uh, be a great asset to have when reviewing small, smaller drones, and they're gonna be a lot more comfortable to wear as well. So that's the main reason that I bought them. So look out for that uh, review of the new Inductrix FPV over the next couple of weeks. But that's it for this quick review of these Fat Shark HD2s. They're going to be a great tool to use over the over the coming months for more essential RC drone and quad reviews. So thanks for watching this one. Look out for more essential RC flight tests in the near future. Subscribe to this YouTube channel using the button at the top of the screen now. Or you might want to join our Facebook group where we have news reviews and the occasional free giveaway. But thanks for watching this one. See you next time.